Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to John, I'm going to be doing an American taste test. So let's get started. Let's start off with these ones here and these are premium, no they're not, <laughs> I'm making up names, from Speedy Choice. And these are kettle cooked sweet Thai chili premium waffle chips. Thai sweet chili in chips is a bit hit and miss with me, but let's see how these ones are. Have a look in the bag there. They look good, they look really good. Oh, hello. You know what I like about these? The color of them. And look at that amazing shape. Waffle chips, absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Oh, 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 there's some heat in here. They are actually quite a hard potato chip because they're kettle cooked. I really like the shape of these. It makes them more fun to eat. And that sweet chili taste, it's more on the chili side than the sweet side. They have quite a bit of punch in there, which I like. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, they're tasty. Oh, uh one had more sweetness in it uh, than the first one sorry they actually do have quite a bit of heat in them and it catches you by surprise first off you think these aren't too bad and then before you know it you're making weird noises but all up though they were very nice potato chip let me know in the comments below have you ever seen this brand before i don't know if it's super popular but they are quite tasty next up we have a hers product and this one is a turtle mix it's sweet and salty they're a snack mix right so you don't don't just get popcorn you get a various amount of things in there which um it doesn't list but have a good look at the picture so there's pretzels there's popcorn nuts chocolatey things i don't know what else is in that picture i remember the first time i saw turtle mix didn't know what a turtle mix was because we don't call things a turtle mix here in australia unless it's actually got no we don't eat turtle we don't i mean i'm sure that some people do i don't i don't know where this conversation is going Okay, have a look in the bag there. Ooh, that looks all right. Oh, hello, hello, bye. So it's got a pretzel, a bit of popcorn. So it looks like the turtle mix is just, um, hang on, I think I found a nut. No, I haven't found a nut at all. Okay, oh, jeez. <laughs> it's not going well. So what I combine in this mix is bits of popcorn and little pretzels as well. And they're quite cute little pretzels. Let's try some of the corn. Oh, yum. Mmm, that's a nice corn. What I like about this is the bits of popcorn are nice and fluffy, and then they've got a nice bit of crisp, 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 crisp Christmas, Christmas, <laughs> crispness to them because they've got a little bit of caramel that's covering them. And then they've also got chocolate, which is really nice. Let's try the pretzel. Ah. Oh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I do like pretzels. Mmm. Mmm. Hers are known for their savory snacks, so I wasn't really expecting a lot out of this sweet mix, but I'm quite liking the flavor of it. And I like the combination of the corn and the pretzels together with all those little bits of sweetness in it. The pretzel itself isn't particularly salty, but it's got that nice savory doughiness to it. It's very tasty. Let's move on to something else sweet. And this one is a massive great big cookie. And this is Grandma's Chocolate Brownie Cookie. <gasps> Wow, cookies, sorry. There's two of them in here. Yeah, it feels like two. So there's grandma there on the cover. Does that look like your grandma? My grandmother didn't look like that, actually. My grandmother was always very, very stylish. Let me know about your grandma in the comments below. I like to read about grandmas because grandmas are special. And uh, some are even more special because they make cookies. So let's have a look at this. Oh, that looks really, really chocolatey. Very nice. So there's two cookies in here. They quill, they quill quite quaff. They feel quite softish. Oops. Right, it's going to be one of those days. You can see the chocolatey bits in there. Mm. Oh, and it smells delicious. Mm. Oh, mmm. Wow. I would have been really impressed if one of my grandmothers could make cookies like that. I did have a grandmother made shortbread though. The chocolatiness of this biscuit is off the scale. It's really good. It's really rich, dark, deep chocolate. 
and then you've got those blobs of chocolate stuff in there too it's like chocolate budgie sort of stuff so it's a real chocolatey experience which is good if that's what you're after just i'm losing a lot of it today i actually am enjoying that it's this soft texture to it that is really pleasant to have texture wise really good flavors are there the chocolate is there delicious let me know in the comments below if you've tried grandma's cookies before i don't mean your grandmother yeah no let me know that as well let me know in the comments below if your grandmother used to make a special kind of cookie that was just amazing time for a beverage break and today's one's really interesting it's a silk almond milk and this one is a dark chocolate flavor oh look honestly i've only had almond milk a couple of times and i remember when i first tried almond milk i thought wow almond milk sounds amazing and people raved about it they're whacking it in their coffee and stuff and uh, i tried it and i wasn't that keen on it hopefully this might change my mind it's got a sticky straw there which you just struggle to get off oh yep yeah, no i've got it it's easier than i thought oh and have i broken it it comes in two parts is that normal what's going on maybe you just no I'd say you can extend it if you want to I suppose to get down to the bottom of the container they've got a tab here and it says pull here and oh 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 and we're in I did not know that was going to happen I probably should have shaken it first but I'm going to shake it while holding this little tab thing on it it's more dangerous that way much more terrifying there's 90 calories in this by the way i'm not going to use my little straw thing though because i want you to have a look at it so i've got this glass to pour it into i have already pre-chilled this oh, oh that is a really really dark chocolate very exciting isn't it i should put the whole lot in i suppose do i want it no i don't want it cheers look at that it's really quite dark isn't it Oh, the chocolatiness of it is really, really quite strong. It's nice. Mm, mm. Nice amount of chocolate in it. It seems a little bit watery, but I don't mind that. And there's a little bit of a, not grittiness, what would I call it? A little bit of texturedness to it after you sip it, but it's quite pleasant. I don't think I necessarily know. If you didn't tell me this was an almond milk, I don't think I'd know. I just think it was a little bit of a watered down milk, to be honest. Mmm. Honestly, flavor-wise, it's really nice. It's got the right amount of chocolate in there. I mean, look at the color of that. Does that appeal to you? Let me know in the comments below. That is really good. So who is this by? Silk Almond. Never heard of it before, but it's really nice. And you can recycle it. Next up, I've got something interesting. This comes in a box and it's Jif to Go Chocolate Silk. I've got a lot of chocolate things today. Don't know how that happened. Oh, interesting jiff to go chocolate silk it seems to be a little tiny cups and oh a better way to snack on the go great for dipping so it's like a chocolate sauce is it there's three of them in here how could that be convenient to go thing i don't know oh, oh there you go oh, there you go chocolate in a cup what am i going to dip in it i don't have a plan i don't have something to dip in it what does it recommend and i probably don't have any of these things i can put a wafer cookie in it i haven't got one of those apple slice i don't know if i want to put apple in it i, I don't really think that apple and chocolate go together or am i wrong uh strawberry yeah that'd go pretzels don't have any plain pretzels oh do i have one in my packet though oh can i cheat and sort of like use the edge of that because that's just easier and it actually says you can put it with strawberries as well but I, i'm out of strawberries right now i wasn't organized ahead of time so let's have a look at this yes that's a cup of chocolate smells a bit nutella-ish chip to go sounds actually more like a cleaning product to me hello yes i've got it it's peanut butter and chocolate whoa that makes more sense to me why you'd put apple with it because that would work but oh my goodness me and that's why i could smell nuts before mm. Mm. i quite like it so i was a bit shocked that it was peanut butter even though now when i read it it actually says peanut butter and chocolate on there <laughs> can't see everything can you it's weird that i'm putting the popcorn in this as well yeah why not Mm. Mm. 
I quite like her. Look at me getting into a peanut chocolate thing. Mmm, that's pretty good. I mean, I know of course usually you would not dip something like this in this. Or would you? I've seen in movies where people get a big thing of ice cream and then they throw all of these amazing but disgusting things on top of it and just eat it like a pig. And I've seen that in movies and it actually really appeals to me. I've never done it. Let me know in the comments below if you do anything like that. This one I'm actually quite impressed with. Better than what I was expecting. Really, really nice to eat. I kind of just want to stick my finger in it. I know, it's disgusting. Mm. See, that makes me happy. <laughs> Next one's exciting because it's a HERS product. HERS Red Hot Potato Chips. I'm guessing they're just going to be chili flavor red hot, hey? Sounds dangerous. Chili's on the front there. They're gluten free. Hello. There's a picture of James S. Her on the back. Wearing a red shirt, appropriately. How red are these going to be? Have a look. Are they really red? Oh, they are. Oh, they're really red. They really... I wasn't expecting that. Oh my goodness me. Look at that. Mmm. You know what though? There's a smokiness about this. I can smell it in there. It smells like roasted peppers. Mmm. Oh, that smells amazing. Wow. This is paprika flavored. Oh, yum, Oh wow! Hot! Um, they're really, 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 really hot. Super! Well, they're red hot, aren't they? <gasps> Almost take your breath away, but I keep wanting to go back for more. The smokiness... Sorry, they are really quite hot. <laughs> the smoky flavour in this is absolutely amazing. Smoke, paprika flavour absolutely stinking hot look at this that's like fire it really is a lot of people would be terrified of these but if you're after something hot and salty then oh my mm, hers makes some amazing flavors and this has not disappointed me they're really really tasty thank you so much john for this amazing selection of american snacks and treats i really do appreciate it and if everyone in the comments below could please thank john because without him this taste test would not be possible have a fantastic week everyone i'll see you next time bye don't forget to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more and share if you enjoyed it or um i don't really know why you'd share it but share it anyway <laughs> have a great Great week. Bye.